X Defiant Season 1 is finally here, bro. The hype from my favorite game of 2024 is back. Well, favorite game until Sparking Zero comes out, but nevertheless. What's good, guys? It's Condor back with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. Remember, if you're a fan of X Defiant or you just like talking about random shit, hit that sub button because that's what we do here. But enough with the intro. Let's jump into Season 1. Let's just sip this G Fuel right here. Use Code Conjure and let's get into this. So they dropped this debrief and I'm not gonna watch the whole thing. I already did, um, probably like one and a half times already, but we're gonna kinda just go through it. Probably skip around cause you know, neurodivergent. <laughs> but let's just start with what's on the screen right here. The L115, right? The L115, we all knew it was coming. Also my favorite sniper rifle. I said this in the last video, bro. I'm so hyped for this gun to be in the game. Besides ranked, this is probably the thing I'm looking forward to the most, 100%. Favorite sniper of all time. I'm getting it tatted one day. Let's move on. The LVO AC assault rifle is the second gun coming. Now, in my last video, I, for some reasons, fucked this up because I'm a moron, I guess. I feel like nobody was talking about this assault rifle, so I just assumed that the riot shield was the third weapon. I should have put two and two together because that because the riot shield has like a flash bang on it. It's the logo on abilities. I don't know how I screwed it up. So that's my fault. That's probably why I got a dislike on that video. I just feel like nobody was talking about it, so I guess I just didn't hear anything about it, and I don't know how I missed it in the trailer. I'm an idiot. Let's keep going. So the other gun is the sawed off shotgun. Now, I originally said I was indifferent toward the shotguns because shotguns were kind of ass in this game anyway. Um, now, according to my boy X right here, it's going to be even weaker than the primary shotguns. And also, which I also forgot to say, this is going to be a secondary shotgun. I didn't realize this in the first place either. Maybe that takes my indifference to a little like uh, worrisome. But worrisome is out of selfishness because I just hate shotguns and I know this thing's going to tilt me with someone you know, instead of reloads, whips out their shotgun and kills me, I'm gonna be a little pissed. I know it. But I will also be using this too. And I think Ake said in here too that he combos the the L115 with the shotgun as a secondary. It was his go-to like he's saying right now. I'm probably gonna run the same setup. I ain't gonna lie. Can't beat him, join him head ass. So we got the L115, the LVOAC, and the sawed off shotgun. Those are three new weapons coming, not the riot shield. Like, I gotta learn to fact check things better, bro. I'm, I'm trying to be more serious about content creation. I gotta get shit right, bro. And I hate uploading false information or just shit like that. But anyway, let's move on. Okay, now now, H right here is about to get into the mastery camo. We had, you know, bronze, silver, and gold. They are going to have this titanium series now with violet, azure, and prisma. Three new mastery camos. Now, I'm not sure now if uh, they didn't say this in the debrief, unless I missed it again like a moron. Um, I'm going to assume that this is just going to be like, they're going to jack up the levels again on the guns. I don't think there's going to be any challenges. I don't think that was said. If it is, correct me if I'm wrong, I could have missed it. But what it seems like to me, it's just gonna be like higher levels. I don't know, 300, 400, 500, I don't know. I really do like this Prisma camo though. It's their first reactive camo like they're saying, um, that Aix is saying right here. And I just think it looks dope. It's kind of like a fade and it constantly changes colors. As a Counter-Strike fan, you know, I just, I'm sorry. Anything with a fade, bro, like this, a rainbow fade, just gas. Yo, and where are my knives, bro? I want knives in X Defiant. So I don't know how you're gonna actually earn these mastery camos. I think you just rank up the guns. I'm just gonna assume that to be the case for now. So not about to talk about rank play right here, I'm going to jump back to the beginning of this to the season one rundown real quick. So obviously the new faction is GSK, right? From Rainbow Six originally, right? And this is this riot shield, this flash riot shield. Um, We're seeing an action right here. I, I, bro, I know it's an ability, but bro, I just, I just, I'm not looking forward to that shit at all, man. This shield just looks like, I mean, dude, this is what I was talking about. Like this ability was right here. I should just assume that was ability and not a weapon. I don't know why. I, I, and in my head, I put that together, but I was just, I just said wrong information anyway. Fuck it. They hit you with it like a regular ride shield, but also they could flash you. I ain't looking forward to shit. It's just gonna piss me off. I just know it. And this right here, um, you're gonna see it. It's basically like a trophy system. I was eating while I was watching this debrief at first. I don't know what the hell it was at first. I'm like, oh, it's just a trophy system. It's, the, it's called the ADS. Knocks out devices, grenades, all that shit. So it's just a trophy system. Basically, how it works in COD, how it works here, it's just an ability. Actually, in the newer CODs, it's a field upgrade. So the GSK faction really has this barbed wire on the that you could kind of put down for people to run through um, i'm pretty sure you get destroyed with an uh, emp grenade as well it seems like you kind of like block shit off with it you could run through it i think it just slows you down or it probably shocks you yeah it's, it's shock wire my fault so it's a shock wire and it's also these like i said these trophy systems but the cool thing about these and he says it in the trailer he says it in this debrief you could kind of place these things anywhere like place it on the wall here he says right here you could place this shit on the ceiling so you kind of put these in very like strategic spots if you want right so people can't see them so people can't see them right away and people can't destroy them right away now i don't know shit about rainbow six you know your boy has probably played it like once or twice years ago when it first came out apparently the ads things or trophy system things are in rainbow six they're just working differently next defiant because they are completely different games and the game flows a lot differently and just plays a lot differently in general um he also says right here the dead sec um faction can hack these you can hack each of the ads devices all over the place and they will no longer like knock out 
all your grenades and everything. So that's basically the counter for that. Yeah, I'm not sure how I'm not sure how effective this shock wire is gonna be in a game like this. Um, I mean, we'll see. I feel like the trophy systems are gonna be used more, especially in like competitive. You can just basically just melee the shock the shock wire. Um, nothing too crazy. Now this is what I was talking about, bro. Look at this shit. You you could just flash people, run in and just flash people with this riot shield. Dude, I'm not looking forward to this. I know this is gonna tilt me. I already get tilted by the riot shield that you run at people with. And this shit flashes you, bro. <laughs> this is the only thing I'm like, I can't, I cannot get on board with this, bro. I trust the developers, but bro, I just, I'm, I, I know this is gonna annoy me. Even if it's balanced, it's gonna annoy me. I know it. Also, but a GSK faction, it takes two shots to the head to kill them, right? With a sniper, um, which you can see right here, right here, yeah. So yeah, so two shots because they're wearing a helmet right here. Two shots to kill them. Probably gonna be a little annoying for us snipers out there, but it's fine. It's not, not a big deal. It, you could still get like a chest up one shot kill. It's not really a big deal. Just aim lower for that one faction. Oh, let's move on to CTF. So CTF, I gotta look through this video again. It's just 30 minutes long. But yeah, so th this is uh how does the flags look in CTF. Uh, I don't know if it was just me, maybe. I don't, I don't know why. I just kind of wish it was a flag, like an actual flag instead of like this digitized type shit um that's just a, that's just a nitpick of my point of opinion i'm fine with it it's still a ctf whatever <laughs> ctf works like ctf and you know halo cod uh it's basically the same rules you know how that game mode works in other games it's basically the same thing here but i am definitely excited for ctf and i hope it gets added to the competitive um playlist i think i mentioned before like i'm not really a fan of escort maybe because i'm not an overwatch guy and i feel like zone control and escort also like the way those maps are i feel like it's too big for 4v4 and i don't know how entertaining that's gonna be to watch but maybe i have to watch more competitive H. I haven't really watched many since the game first came out you know maybe the game sped up a lot more those game modes at least i kind of just would like to see like similar to cod's game modes except control uh occupy that hard point ctf search and destroy which is also coming in season one again same if you know how search and destroy plays and cod it's the same thing here but i really do like this hud right here just how they do the scores right here it's kind of like this circle thing i'm um, like with the notches for each round and you see how many people live on the other team i personally like that the bomb sites look kind of kind of different but it's still kind of like that briefcase type vibe like cod has it's search bro i'm excited for search too but like i said i would like to see occupy ctf search and destroy as like the main competitive game modes don't control pie works i'm just being stubborn <laughs> and i guess like i said cod cod brain rot bro i don't know a game like this i feel like it's just it would be great keep it simple and fast paced maybe i gotta watch com more competitive x defiance so we got ctf and search coming it's called bomb not search and destroy so bomb is coming <laughs> and since we since we are on the topic of ranked and competitive let, let's talk about that a little bit I'm so glad Aix is working on this game, bro. That means this, this rank system is about to be godlike. Like, ranked probably about to be so lit in this game. I just have my full faith in Aix. The main game modes for ranked are going to be Occupy, Domination, Zone Control, Escort. The only one that plays exactly like the casual or the public playlist is Escort. So for Occupy right now in pubs, this shit is random. All the rotations now, all the hills are going to be set predetermined hills. Just like how Hardpoint works in COD. You can rotate properly now as a team. So now it's actually competitive. And now your boy can now learn the rotation and give a fuck about the objective so domination now unlike how it works in pubs you it switches sides so one team starts on one side and the other team starts on the other and you guys switch sides halfway through the game i think black ops 2 was like this right i think most of Treyarch's games they switch sides when it comes to domination. i think zone control i gotta play more as game mode bro like I, I think the linear maps i don't like the linear maps in x defiant i think that's my my gripe i feel like they're too big and it ranks how i'll actually try to play it i'll give it more of a chance but um the only difference here with them here is and he's getting to it right here so like this like quarter circle thing so in pubs right in a casual playlist the defending team can't push this progress back now if the defending team jumps on the hill you could kind of push this back so it's kind of like control and cod again so it's like control though where you kind of a team jumps on the the point and it kind of goes back to the, the last checkpoint the last section right here right you could kind of bring us all the way down i hope that was clear enough and escort plays exactly the same way as uh the casual playlist again like i said i'm not a big fan of escort okay, so there's seven ranks in the game you got bronze silver gold ruby emerald diamond and legend and legend is like their top 500 uh, so top 500 players will be in legend also from bronze through emerald you could squad out with a party of four as long as the i think the highest and lowest ranked player in that party are within 15 levels of each other and guys if you want to know how to rank system works a lot a lot better and a lot clearer because i'm terrible i'm be terrible explaining this 
but go check it out. I'm just giving you the basic rundown of everything. Yeah, so party four up until Emerald. Then diamond is where you only could like duo queue at that point. So diamond and legend only could duo queue and rank. Each rank has 10 levels before you get to the next rank. So what I was curious about too is how they're going to approach adding the new game modes to rank play. Um, and basically what Ake says right here is they're going to kind of test it out every time. So every time a new season drops and there's a, and there's a new mode that comes out, it's going to be automatically in on rank and they're going to kind of use that to gauge if it could be in rank play. Then they'll see if they want to add it later. Because I was generally curious about that because I said we have like four modes and then if you add CTF in there, that's five and then S and D six. So you got six competitive game modes. I feel like that's a little crazy. A lot of game modes to learn. I'm sure they're gonna cut down on that as the game grows competitively and esports gets more organized for x defiant it could be condensed into like three or four modes i think anything more than that once it's fully established too much also i'm not sure where they talk about this i was trying to find it all oh, right here basically what he explains right here there's gonna be like a trial run at the beginning of every season where it's kind of like the warm up the practice to get your feet wet um into rank play which i think is nice i feel like it makes things less daunting especially for new players or people who are new to ranked in general i think that's a really cool idea of having like a warm-up period where the ranks are not even turned on yet he says right here it's a seven day window so I'm assuming this is like, it's just the start of the season, the first week of the season, not if you first start ranked. What I mean by that is like, so let's say you start playing ranked like a month later. Do you get that warm up period for the seven days or is it just strictly at the beginning of the season? Maybe I'm just being stupid again. <laughs> and also something we didn't talk about yet was the maps. We got Daytona, uh, Rockefeller. So look how colorful these maps are, bro. They're just so colorful, vibrant. I love that. It. and also the other map right here clubhouse yeah so clubhouse from rainbow six and apparently it's not one-to-one -one like rainbow six they kind of like had to make it work for x defiant which makes sense because the games play very different i mean let me know what you guys think about this one but i don't know what it is i feel like this map gonna be annoying like i like how it looks but i don't know if it's the verticality or how many like openings there are or what it is i feel like you get shot from everywhere it's gonna be a little annoying I just feel like there's a lot of places to get shot from i could be wrong about that this first impressions wise that's just what i think uh, but let me know what you guys think otherwise the map looks cool and i like how all these maps are vibrant colorful they just they're nice to look at but they don't feel dreary i was saying on stream the other day like the only map i really don't like is meltdown and this is a linear map and also and i can't think of the other one maybe mayday no mayday grew on me i don't know there's some other map that i just i'm not really a fan of but there's nothing i really hate like i can still even the maps i don't like too much i'm fine playing on them they're just not my favorite bro i just can't wait for this l115 man look how sexy this gun looks man and and what ake says over here too the tac 50 is kind of like you know almost guaranteed not almost like guaranteed but you're more likely to get that one shot kills that heavier sniper m4 what the hell is it your m i don't know what the, hell. the other sniper rifle in this game it's your hit marker magnet and this one's kind of that middle of pack sniper rifle not too fast not too slow and you get those one shot kills i'm gonna be using the hell out of this i'll probably be sniping a lot more now because his gun's in the game i'm just so excited for it bro and the fact that ache says it's it's his favorite weapon in the game right now i'm even more excited bro i cannot wait a big gripe of mine about x defiant was i haven't spent my money in this game yet because none of the aesthetics to me were worth the money yet and and i knew as the game progresses and the seasons come out and stuff we're gonna get more like cooler shit in the store and right here you could tell they're moving that direction this shit looks kind of cool i don't really care much for this one to be honest still looks cool though i do like this lightning effect that's on on uh the operator right here i really fuck with this one Maybe because I just love playing cards. Maybe because I used to be a magician. That's where I got the name Conjurer, if you didn't know. I kind of like the aesthetic going on right here. I really fuck with it. On the uh, on the faction guy himself. The weapon, uh, eh. I kind of wish it was more playing cardy. I can't really see the other side of the gun. It's probably the same shit, right? Yeah, not really. This right here is kind of, this power washer, fire, bro. It looks kind of like a, it's like a water gun super soaker type shit. This shit looks fire. And these are like the fun weapons. This is the shit that's going to make me spend money on the game. The animations right here. I, bro, I don't know why I fuck with the animation of this game or the, the winning emotes or whatever you want to call them. They're pretty cool. So I, I might, I might like this one. I like the explosion one. This cutesy trolley shit. It's just trolley as fuck. And I feel like it just piss people off when they see, see who's a player of the game. This is what they see. It's just triggering, bro. I love it. In FPS, it's great. I probably will be buying this battle pass to I even touch the first one because I, I, there was nothing I wanted. I should have bought the founder shit for the, uh, the XP tokens, but I just didn't feel the need to buy it yet. So now I'm going to finally give x my money. All right, guys, that about wraps up the video. Real quick rundown to some um, extra shit that they talked about. Every season is going to have new weapons added, a new map added. Uh, actually, I think new maps are every 
month. New faction. A uh, kill cam feature is being worked on. They don't know when it's coming out yet. Um, what's, That's something I really want in X Defiant too, because some of these kills either... I think it looks sus, but sometimes I just want to know how to fuck this guy kill me. Or if I kill somebody, I want them to know how I killed them. Especially if it was trolly as hell. They're also adding a prestige mode too. Kind of like the COD prestige system. The OG COD prestige uh, system that's also coming back in Black Ops 6. And creator codes too. So they're going to be adding creator codes kind of like, I guess, like Fortnite used to do and some other games used to do. Your boy going to have to be grinding that content so I can earn a creator code, bro. You know, it's time to get serious. Stop fucking around. Preseason was my fuck around period. Trying to lean into this content thing. I'm gonna try to do a lot better job. As you can see, this video is coming out day one of season one. So I was a little on this one. And this wasn't in the debrief or anything, but I know weapon inspect is coming and I said that I wanted that in the game too. But anyway, guys, that's been a video. Let me know how you guys feel about X Defiant season one. Are you guys hyped? I know I am. I'm excited to get back in the grind. I kind of fell off a little bit. I'm still learning how to balance, you know, my like setting time to record, stream, edit and also my full-time job which also requires recording and editing sometimes as well so i'm just trying to learn to balance everything you know and some days your boy just tired bro sometimes i just don't want to force a video too if i'm just not in a good mood either so and lately my mental health's kind of been on and off anyway as it is but anyway guys let me know how you guys feel about season one hit that sub button if you aren't subscribed already and make sure you follow the stream bro i've been streaming a lot on tiktok live at condor that's c-o-n-j-u-r-0-r -R. i'm trying to get my second pc in the next few weeks and i'll probably then go back to multi-streaming on kick and tiktok at the same time and twitch i think i'm gonna make my return to twitch too as well but right now my pc cannot handle the multi-streaming thing one ends up lagging and no, we're not doing it so i've been focused on tiktok live for now but yeah come by the stream come by with your boy but also follow me on threads i've been a lot more active on threads lately it's quickly becoming my favorite platform i know some people think it's kind of dead if you're a streamer or content creator or anything get on threads bro people are nice over there people are chill people are just supportive like they've known you for years and they've been supporting your content and you met them literally five minutes ago or this morning <laughs> but yeah check me out on threads links to all my social media down in the description Hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys in the next video. Later.